you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, I'm super excited because I have the new Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. We're gonna be doing some swatches, creating a look, and giving you guys my first impressions of this palette, as well as doing comparison swatches with the ColourPop It's My Pleasure and I Like You A Lot palettes. I will leave my makeup reviews playlist to watch previous reviews, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's dive into this palette. So the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette palette retails for $49. I guess the newer Naked palettes retail for a little bit more less than how Naked 1, 2, and 3 were. They were about $55. This is what the palette looks like. It's in the traditional packaging that all of the other Naked palettes are in, and you get 12 shades. I have to admit, I am a little disappointed on the execution of this palette. I was really looking forward to this palette being heavy, just purple. Not really many nude shades. Not having purple mattes, I am definitely kind of like, what? And I also wanted to do comparison swatches to help you guys if this is a palette that you may need, or if you're interested in a purple palette, maybe ColourPop might be a better option to go with. I usually never use the naked brushes, but I think this brush is mainly focused on people that are the average consumer, whereas I have an extensive collection being an enthusiast and having my channel that this is something I would pass along to a friend or declutter if no one else wanted it. First, let's dive into the swatches and then I'm gonna try to get It's My Pleasure on like the top portion of my arm and then I like you a lot under it or vice versa, whichever one I end up grabbing first. Trippin', Mind Slip, Dazed, Hacked. Oh wow, this shade right here, Dazed, is absolutely stunning. The swatch to me, like looking like real up close to it, looked a little bit almost more pink than it does peach in the pan. But so far, pigment all the way through. Formula feels nice, like the Naked Honey formula does. Definitely think over the years, Urban Decay's formula has improved. Like with Naked Cherry, Honey, those are like my absolute favorite ones compared to like the OG's one, two, and three. And I also think that every Naked palette, no matter which one it is, has this shade in it and they just changed the name. But I also think it's a nice shade to be able to set your eyeshadow base or clean up some looks. VR Lucid Optimized Warning. With these three shimmers, VR Lucid and Warning, I'm a little bit nervous for them. They feel a little bit lighter than how Days does. Like these might be more of a topper or you need to apply with your finger perhaps or definitely wet the shade, but we'll see. Nope, I stand by what I stated because <laughs> I do feel a lot more lighter than how Days did. And also on the swatch, it does look more of a topper-esque instead of a true shimmer. Probably my favorite shades of this palette. Cyberpunk, Euphoric, Purple Dust, Digital. And this is the entire palette swatched. Yeah, I'm only really digging this half of the palette right here. I don't know, I think it's because fans have been asking for a while for Urban Decay to do a naked purple palette. I definitely think they should have taken their time and put in a little bit more effort to have more purple shades in this palette. And I think there's nothing wrong adding this pink shade right here. I think pinks and purples work really nice together. Example, Morphe 39S palette. That would be a really good dupe video. It's funny because the 39S palette is one of my favorite Morphe palettes. I often forget about it though. Let's see, let's try to dupe. The first shade is kind of hard to dupe. So I might just skip on that. Let's see, this will be for Mind Slip. Dazed, Hacked, VR. For the shade that I use for a hack, definitely pulling a little bit more gray than brown. For Lucid, there's not really much of a lilac shade in this palette. Maybe we'll just get away with this one. Optimized, Warning. And then Cyberpunk. I think things are looking a little bit more similar now. Euphoric. Purple Dust. Digital. 
So these are the shades that I chose from the Morphe 39S palette to be able to dupe the Naked Ultraviolet palette. The sub shades actually were pretty darn close. <laughs> like this line for Lucid right here and then for Digital and Purple Dust are also very closely related. It's not exactly the same, but if you already own 39S, it might be easy to pass on the Naked Ultraviolet. I'm excited that the 39S palette came through on this because it's the second palette this year I've been able to dupe it with. I also duped the Natasha Denona Love Palette, which I was so sad about because I was so excited for the Love Palette. It did not work out for me. I actually ended up returning it. Plus, a lot of similar shades in the Love Palette were very similar, closely related, dupable enough for me to be able to get what I wanted out of Love with this palette. And now it looks about the same with the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. I'm gonna wipe these away, re-swatch Ultraviolet, and then do It's My Pleasure and Lilac You A Lot to do another comparison. The next set of comparable swatches will be the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. I was doing swatches of the Urban Decay palette with four shades and It's My Pleasure only has three across, so my pinky is feeling a little bit left out. This is the comparison to It's My Pleasure to Naked Ultraviolet. I see a little bit of similarities amongst this palette, like this shade and even that. And that's where I like how It's My Pleasure took the approach. It's still a very purple palette, but you also have some more red berry shades to be able to play with to create so many looks. Whereas Naked Ultraviolet, it took more of the neutral browns approach with pops of purple. Lastly, Lilac You A Lot comparison swatches. And here's the comparison with It's My Pleasure, Naked Ultraviolet, and Lilac You A Lot. Between both of the ColourPop palettes, I think Lilac You A Lot is a little bit more closely related to the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet. I hope that you guys find it useful that we duped this palette with the Morphe 39S palette and also did comparison swatches with these two ColourPop palettes. Already gone ahead, done my foundation, and filled in my brows. Next, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Potion Primer to prime my eyes. Let's start things off with Orchard. There is some kick up when you dip your crease brush into that palette. Oh, it is quite chalky on me. I don't like that. Also it looks a little bit more white than lilac. Woo, she is not blending out the best. A little too chalky. For my liking, I'm definitely having flashbacks to like the Morphe 35i palette. That was probably the chalkiest palette I have ever used. And this shade definitely needs to be built up a lot just because it is fading away when I do apply it as well as to get like the more lilac showing. Otherwise it looks kind of gray or white. Not really loving Orchard as much as I anticipated. I originally thought about doing the approach of a neutral look with a pop of purple, but I really wanted to focus on a more heavy purple look because it's called ultraviolet. So right off the bat, I already feel limited on what I truly want to do with the purple palette. Cause like next I would want to go in with a deeper purple matte to deepen it a little bit. Since Optimize was the only purple shade. Did I call it Orchard? I can't remember. So not having like another purple matte, I am not gonna have the dimension that I really like in my looks. We improvise a lot on this channel with what we can work with. So I think I'm gonna to try cyberpunk next and try to get things deepened at least where like the crease and lid area meet oh i just got distracted because there was a little fly in here that add squirrel moment i think i'm making things worse <laughs> I need to go back in with Optimize to help clean it up a bit because it's just not turning out cute. 
I am not having a good time over here. And I think I'm just thinking about how much I was able to get out of Lilac Like You a lot and It's My Pleasure because I did do a comparison between those two palettes, loved it. Both palettes worked out really nice. All right, Purple Dust it is for outer and inner portions of the lid. For some reason, it's not liking my outer portion as much as like my inner portion of the eye. And this, this shade has a ton of fallout. I think I'm gonna take Warning next for the center of the halo. And then taking that same brush, going back lightly with Purple Dust, to help blend those two shades together. Next, I'm gonna add some eyeliner to my lid and waterline. I have the Hank and Henry liquid eyeliner for my lid, and then I have the LA Girl Cosmetics Shockwave eyeliner in the shade Vivid for the waterline. And then I think I'm gonna take Cyberpunk again because it really got lost where I was trying to put it in the crease a little bit. So let's see if it works out a little bit better on the lower lash. I feel like this is another case where I should have just stuck with black eyeliner on the waterline but I've been trying to just do pops. For the inner corner, I'm gonna take Lucid and see how this shade works out. Probably the best shade in this palette. It's picking up like more blue applied than it did on the swatch. Wow. That shade right there stole the whole damn show. And it is definitely my favorite shade that I used in this entire palette. And it's not even purple. I have been getting so many compliments using these lashes in some of my most recent looks. These are from Lash Scoop in the shade Lizzie. Did I say shade? In the style Lizzie. Wow. Gonna add my Fenty mascara to blend in with the falsies and then taking my Tarte Easy on the Eyes eyeliner for the upper water line. We're gonna bronze using the Tarte Tartiste Pro Glow palette and we'll be taking this side Still trying to pan this. I've been trying to work on this palette all year to hit pan. We're still not there. At first I did want to do a purple lip to tie it all in, but that might be a little bit too much for me at this moment. So my current favorite lip combo is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone, followed by the Lunar Beauty Gloss in the shade Starlight. I would have never guessed in a million years I would find a nude lip combo I would be obsessed with. Literally every look, this is my go-to now. Overall, this really wasn't my favorite Urban Decay palette. I really love Naked Honey. And if you really want a naked palette in your collection, that's the one I will keep recommending over and over and over again. It was just really good and I reach for it all the time. 
this I could easily see collecting dust in my collection because I have the Morphe 39S palette if I wanted similar shades, but if I really want an all purple palette, I think Lilac You A Lot came the closest shade wise to the ultraviolet compared to It's My Pleasure that each have nine pans, $12 a piece on ColourPop's website. Definitely if you bought those two, it's half the cost of the ultraviolet palette. And then Morphe 39S I believe is about $40 and you get 39 shades compared to 12. So I definitely think there are more affordable options out there. Even I would probably say better that actually cater to more purple shades. I think the only shade I truly do love in this palette is Lucid in the inner corners. I definitely thought it was very unique. I mean, I don't think the look is absolutely bad. The halo look is a little bit hidden with A, my hooded eyes, and two lashes. So it was almost kind of pointless trying to go for that. I feel like Urban Decay had the potential to put out a really good naked purple palette and this isn't it. I think they definitely could have added better purple and berry mattes and then keep the shimmers. Just get rid of the neutral shades. That's what I would do if I would do this over. I would love to know if you picked up this palette and how was your experience with it or are you going to pass on it. I hope the comparison swatches of Morphe 39S and the ColourPop I like you a lot and it's my pleasure were super helpful and I also know Melt put out a purple palette. I forgot what it's called. Really not that purple either. So I think all these brands have a weird conception of what a purple palette is supposed to be. I think ColourPop and Morphe were the only two brands that actually hit the nail on the head. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways. And I'll see you in the next video.